Hi, Nesha is here. This time I will run Simulacrum and for this fight I will use uh, Bane inside the bow. The second curse is Temporal Chains. As you can see, the ability to cast two curses comes from Malediction. And here is my passive tree. I'm using setup with two large cluster jewels. One, se one large cluster with setup with two medium and two small is uh, focused more on energy shield and the second set of clusters is set up more for damage. As you can see both small cluster jewels are focused on damage. I did some little uh, changes to my passive tree. I removed uh, these three points. I don't need those additional damage. I also removed Arcane Vision and for those four points I got Written in Blood, uh, this notable for 10% increased maximum energy shield, and I picked one more for 6% increased maximum energy shield. Because of uh, Written in Blood I got more strength, so I was able to craft plus one to minimum frenzy charges as additional damage for additional damage because at, at the moment I don't use three curses and I don't have poachers, poachers mark. At the moment I have 9000 energy shield and with rare amulet I would need to use soul of the brine king. I think I have far more damage than I need for this fight, so uh, I will replace my rare amulet with unique presence of Cheyula and push my energy shield over 10k. Now I can use Soul of Lunaris, I also use Soul of Aberat. And instead of Bottle Fate, I will use Enduring Mana Flask with immunity to curses. Also, I don't need this additional damage from Bottle Fate. My movement skill is Flame Dash. I will use Wither Totems. And my auras are uh, Summon Skitterbots, Malevolence, which is reserved on life, and Discipline on Mana and Clarity. I use Clarity level 1 because of this Watcher's Eye, a really good jewel. If you need more uh, defense, be sure to use Flesh and Stone instead of Summon Skittabots. It will give nice defense boost. Okay. Remember this ramshackle place? A second home, and yet something seems off, yes, does some, it not? Something's off. Uh, this is one of nice positions for portals. And I prefer to use this one. And place my portal here. Just in case I die. Because this position here is really really bad when you if you die you will enter uh, you will enter the map right in the middle of huge amount of the mobs and usually you can you cannot do anything so it is good to move your portal on some west or north position First 10 ways was really easy, and here is the loot, nothing special. So let's start with wave 10. 50% delirious and 4 additional projectiles. Nothing you do matters. The dream will end, and the dreamer will pass into the next world.
position is really nice. We have space to go back if need. Let's see. Oh, large cluster and nine passives and item level 79, which is nice, but. A ring is not bad. So uh, so. Let's see wave eleven. Poison. Uh, I don't. Will not use any poison flask. And immunity to poison. I like to start and go here. On my high ground. Come on. Stop that. What was that chill? Okay, let's use some totems just for additional defense. And... First is the exalt shard. Fossils are not special. Okay, where is that shark? Need more? <laughs> Wave 12. 60% delirious. Okay. Do you not wonder what tugs at the strings of fate? What stands astride the abyss and beckons you to fall? This wave could be the first for the boss to spawn. What was that? You deal less damage. Come on. Ah, this is nice, I cleared this part. Now I can join here. Gloves. Uh, not bad. Three stack decks. And let's see. Wave number 13. 65%. Uh, more damage and increased area effect. was easy. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh man. Three blighted maps. Uh, th this was nice look.
Okay, tier wave 14, 70% delirious, poison, uh, extra physical damage as chaos, that is not problem, so probably b this will be the first boss, come on. Don't stand explosions. Damage is at this wave really high from the monsters. Need to be a bit careful. that poison um, what is this okay cold iron hmm. probably cheap wave 15 75 percent delirious monsters are faster Three additional projectiles. This is dangerous and 100% extra is lightning. Combined with this mod can be dangerous and three additional projectiles. So be careful. Come on. Believe me, you will fall, exile. That is first boss. Uh, yes, I hear the boss. And boss is dead. Uh, it is <laughs> so easy with high damage. I really love my fast AOE spell Bane, especially when you place it inside the ball. At the moment it's level 31, but if I use Rare Amulet, it would be a level 33, along with Despair <laughs> and <laughs> Temporal Chains. Oh, not bad. And let's check that. Too. Uh, not special. Wave number sixteen, eighteen percent delirious. Uh, cold. Okay, cold damage, more damage, increased damage. Okay. Be careful. Okay, I use my valve split. Come on. Stop with that. Uh, not bad. More stack decks. 
Ok. So, 14. Let's see, wave number 17. Uh, increase area, monster damage. Brittle is not <laughs> good and damage is cold. Ok, not bad. Stand in explosion. Okay, time to go down. Come on. Is there anyone left? Uh, nothing. Wave 18, 90% delirious. And this is dangerous. Three additional projectiles, extra damages cold and combined with this mod, need to be careful. I will break you. Let's use totems. Same position. Avoid those explosions. Not bad. Again, three additional projectiles. Come on, stop with that. Less damage, okay. Fire. This time, extra fire with, combined with less fire resistance. 95% delirious. Okay. Another dangerous wave. Come on, stop that, that is boss, that is boss and right next to me. No, man! I have to place something else on this action bar. I used the wrong... Ah, oh, man. Come on. Boss is dead. There 
these two bosses. Come on. Do I have to chase you? That damage. <laughs> Come on, don't do that. Join me here so I can see you. And boss is dead. Clusters from the bosses and wave 20. I made a stupid mistake. I need to have something different on, on my middle mouse button. I should not use Valor, well, I just fire. I lost 30% of my energy shield. Um, extra as gold inflict. Okay, impale is dangerous. Okay, there is no I will not be made a fool. additional projectiles. Boss, join me or not? I could move. And boss is dead. You can easily die if you make some mistake. <laughs> but keep your precious sanity, my agent of chaos. You shall serve me whether you like it or not. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> but the damage is really high. So as long as you don't make some mistakes as I did, you can do this encounter deathless and easily. Let's see that cluster. Will I get my currency back? Yeah, five five adds five passive skills, but base is bad, so nothing special. Eight eighty four. That's bad. And let's check those 40 for something nice. Come on, you can do better. <laughs> no, no, not like that. This was Simulacrum with Occultist Low Life Bane plus Essence Drain. This encounter, if you increase your damage enough, you can do even without Essence Drain. And the best part, Bane is AoE large 
and fast. So no need for contagion plus essence rain. If you have any questions about this encounter or about this build, you can leave them in comments or send me a message inside the game. My IGN is MC Red Harvest. This will be all for now. Thanks for watching and see you next time.